What's going on guys, Angel here, and today we are going to be redoing a five-year-old video that got this channel crazy views, and it got over 160,000 views now. It is my most viewed video currently. This is the Black & Decker rice cooker. Now, funny story about this is this is my sister's rice cooker, and she's actually going to be helping me in this video. We're going to be doing a whole redo on this, and I want to do it the way that I originally wanted to do it back in 2015. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. <music> Alrighty, so we're gonna go ahead and go over what you need for this. As you can see here, we have some Wegmans long grain brown rice. You can choose which one you'd like, but just know that times will vary depending on the grain of the rice as well as the type of rice. We also have some black pepper. You also have some thyme here. You're gonna need about two tablespoons of butter and you're also gonna need some salt and you don't have to add the salt if you don't want to. You can really use whatever seasoning that you want to, but for this, we're gonna be using those. Alrighty, so first things first, we're gonna go ahead and add the rice into the bowl. Uh, we use a spoon, but it's basically a teaspoon of salt and what you're going to do is sprinkle it around a little bit so it covers the entire area just shake the bowl a little bit so it flattens out the next thing we're going to add is just a little bit of pepper so maybe about a teaspoon of pepper i know you all like measurements so we're going to add about one teaspoon of thyme and like i said as you saw we're going to do two tablespoons of butter we add about three and a half cups of water we want our rice to be moist soft and fluffy you can use the one dry cup but i recommend you definitely use the liquid measuring cup we didn't use it for this video but you can use uh, the plastic dry cup if you really want to you're going to go ahead and pour that into the bowl and after that you're going to set it into the actual cooker always read the directions on the back of your bag so you know what you need to do for your rice because each rice is different like i was saying earlier now before we put the top on we're going to go ahead and stir it up just a little bit so we make sure we mix all those flavors together then after that you're going to put the top over and plug it into the outlet the final step is going to be putting the cook switch down that will then enable the cooking process for your rice now all you have to do is wait but i wanted to show you all what it's going to look like after like the 15 minute mark i just wanted to show you all what it looks like while it's cooking as you see it's bubbling up and it's steaming do not put your hand over the hole as it is very hot guys this is steam okay now that our rice is done as you can see here it does leave a little bit of film and depending on your rice it will leave a little bit of film but now it is just set on keep warm and as you can see the switch is back to the top now we're going to go ahead and stir this up a little bit and then we're going to give this a little bit of taste but remember this is very hot make sure you're stirring this with caution please don't mind me not wearing your shirt as i just got out the shower but uh let's go ahead and give it a taste as you can see the rice is super fluffy it was still hot when i ate it but it tasted amazing it was very buttery it was fluffy it tasted really good now once you're done with the rice cooker you can leave it on to keep warm or if you don't want to leave it on too long i definitely recommend you go ahead and unplug it from the outlet and then you can wait for it to cool down or you can go ahead and serve it for whatever purpose you're using it for but just to show you all what we made with it we did some orange chicken and rice we deep fried the orange chicken and uh, put some of that sauce over it and it tasted amazing the rice went perfect with the orange chicken and again this only took about 30 minutes to really get done this is a great way you can do meal prep with the rice or if you're trying to make a dinner for a lot of people or a bigger side for everyone this is another way you can do it the one we're using in the video is the eight cup versions but they do have more available i will leave all those in the link description below i hope you all did enjoy this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content like this thank you all so much for watching i can't believe it's been over five years since i made that video i really appreciate you all watching i hope this video was really helpful and until next time you guys peace out